Uh, and today is Wednesday, April 23rd, my niece's birthday. And uh, she's 21, wow, makes me feel old. Anyway, so uh, a lot's happened this week and um, I didn't get to make a video every day. Um, I've actually been trying to get a job in which I've discussed that many times. I got a lot of discrimination on professional um, interviews, and but I found a great place to work at, but I had to go through three interviews. So I got the call the other day and um, for the third interview, which I've been waiting for, and I was really hoping on this one, and I like it. It's a nice Italian restaurant, so I'm really happy. It's like really nice. So I'll be back to bartending, yay! So, um, and I fit right in as far as, I mean, there's people from all sizes, all ages, so they're not hiring just super young, little skinny chicks, and, um, um, so, yeah, and yesterday, my first day, I put in 10 hours and 45 minutes of nothing but hustling and running around and just helping everybody and just trying to do my best at learning. And so, um, I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, I have to stay away from the food. It is excellent Italian food, and they made me try. Um, well, nobody forces you to try anything, but uh, they... Um, you know, I tried cannoli, I, I had a piece of it, it was very good, and then the the, um, the cream that they put in it, it's home, you know, they, they make everything there, and uh, I tried their marinara sauce and some calamari, I just had one piece of calamari, and I like the marinara sauce, so I took the lettuce that was supposed to be garnished, and I'm like, oh, let me dip that in the marinara, and everyone's laughing at me, I'm like, hey, I do what I do, and um, apparently you can get food 50% off, and if you work a double, which that's what I did, um, you could get $10 off, which is basically a free meal. But I don't want to. I like the fact that you can go there on your off time with your family and get 50% off. So I wouldn't mind going there with my husband and make it a treat meal or something, you know. Because it would be really hard. I've been studying this menu, and it would be really hard to eat that food and not gain a lot of weight. So... Um, I brought, uh, and I'm going to do it again today, I brought a um, whole wheat sandwich with uh, egg, and I used my green goddess dressing, a tablespoon of that, and I cut up some cucumber and green pepper, and it was really good and satisfying, and I brought little pretzel sticks to go with it, and of course I had a big old water, so that's what I ate during my break. Um, I'll tell you, it's really hard to get used to working that many hours and going that many hours without eating. I went all the way from 9.30. I had oatmeal right before I left. So at least that would keep me full longer. But I'm used to eating like I have a snack and then I have lunch and then I have a snack and then I have dinner. And I went all the way from 9.30 till 4.30 before I ate again. So I was like really starving, smelling all that delicious food, garlic and pasta and everything. But I lived, okay? So, anyway, um, I'm down to 165. I lost 1 1.6 again, and uh, that seems to be a pattern every couple of weeks. Um, and that makes my total of 69 pounds. That's practically 70. Now, I have to tell you, so I got the job. Yay. Friday night, when we went shopping, when he gets his check, we go shopping. Friday night, he made me go... <laughs> He's been, he's all like, well, you practically lost 70 pounds. So that's all he's been saying, even though when I was at 67 lost, you know, he's been telling you know, telling everybody, oh, she lost 70 pounds. So, um, and you know, men or people that don't really have to watch the scale a lot and stuff like that, then they just round it and that's all good enough. So I'm trying to think like him, so it's more realistic. But anyway, so Friday he makes me go in the kitty litter aisle and he's like, well, you lost 70 pounds, so why don't you go pick up these two things? And he grabs these uh, two 35-pound uh, tub of kitty litter, which we buy that for the kitties sometimes. And um, he's like, now, grab each of them and walk down this aisle, because that's what you used to walk around with all the time. And that's 70 pounds. Holy crap, I could hardly make it down one side of the aisle. I'm like, oh, my God. And so... It just really puts things into perspective. And then the next day, he's like, 
I'm so tired of you always trying to wear clothes and like I'm putting rubber bands in my jeans <laughs> or in my pajama pants. I'm like, I got the belt on the tightest loops. I had to make more holes. So he's all, and, and I'll put the pants on before I even put a belt on or a rubber band and they just fall right down off of me. So he's like, that's it. We're going to Goodwill. I'm going to get my baby some clothes. I'm like, okay. So I grabbed a bunch of size 10s because I was like, well, maybe size 10s will fit me because the last pair I was really happy to get into was 11s, but they're getting loose. So you want to take them right out of the dryer. And the 11, um, I'm thinking, was equivalent to 10. So, And then I was like, oh, just for checking purposes, I'll grab these two, uh, three size 8s. And just see, well, I was just going to grab one. And then I'm like, see, like, how much I can get them up, you know? And then that's how much more I need to work at it. Uh, I kid you not, the um, size 8s, um, well, the size 10s look good, but they were a little loose. Like, I could pull them out and stuff. And I'm like, let me try the size 8 on. Holy crap. I almost cried. Like, these size 8s fit me. Totally fit me. I'm not, okay, here's one of them. Um, this is size eight, like, and, but this does have a little stretch material. I have another pair of jeans and I didn't, I don't have them on, but they're, um, they're, uh, uh, Lee, zero stretch material in at all, size eight, and it's like, um, they're really cool because they're a breast cancer awareness, um, addition, so they have these little pink bows on the, um, on the pocket and a little pink thing on it, so, um, and they're size eight. Like, I was jumping them down, and I was couldn't find them. using them way back in the store, and I went running, and I grabbed my purse, left all the clothes, and just remote, running with those pants on, and didn't even, have my, didn't even have my shoes back on. I was like, baby, size eights. Oh, my God, single digits. I've not seen single digits since age 23. Like, I was so excited, and I wanted him to be like, yay, you know, with me, and he's all like, yeah, I heard you. I heard you the first time. Here, look at this. And I'm like, no, you're not size eights. This one lady started smiling at me, and, and she, like, gave me a thumbs up behind his back because I'm all like, no, you're not getting me. So, I just, I don't know. I just want him to jump up and down with me. And then I went back in the dressing room, and I, like, I seriously, like, I, I, I almost cried. So, I'm really happy about that. I, like, I am wearing size 8. Now, I, of course, I, I got some size 10s, too, so... I'm an 810. What the hell? What? <laughs> so that's super awesome. And then I got the job. And so I've had an excellent week. Now I just need to learn to stay on track. And um, I, you know, bring lunch and stuff like that because I cannot eat the food. People are all like, oh, you should eat this food. It's so delicious. I'm like, yep, yeah, looks delicious. So I've been studying the menu and there's no way. I'm watching the cooks make that stuff. They're throwing in butter and oil and, and everything they make and they put tons of cheese on it and um, no, no. <laughs> I'm good with my egg and cucumber sandwich. So anyway, um, I'm great. Oh, and not to mention that my workplace is right next to a Dunkin' Donuts, which everyone keeps running over there to grab donuts and um, and iced coffees. Like, I love coffee, and that's what I have in the morning. I look forward to my coffee in the morning, but that's it because, um, I mean, I, you know, I, I can have it. I like the feeling how in control I feel is like, I can have it, just not right now. Not that I can never have it, just not right now. I don't want it because I'm saving that for after my workout or I'm saving that for um, this weekend, you know, um, when I've already scheduled uh, our going out night that, you know, I'll have higher calories or whatever. So I love how being in control feels. I do. I like it. I like when I eat only to satisfaction instead of being, oh, I'm so full. Even my husband is trying to. I'm trying to get him in healthier habits. I like that he's picking up things for me without me hounding him. Just by me talking about it or watching a video or something. He's like, I watch his space documentaries. He's going to watch my losing weight um, or science of weight loss type of videos, documentaries type things. So, And he's picking up things here and there. And he's like, yeah, I do like it when I'm not overstuffed. And he goes, I do like it. He goes, it's, it's going to take me a lot to get used to, but it is a better feeling. I said, see, you know, it's better to not 
Well, you should be able to eat and be like, yeah, it's something good for my body instead of, ugh, I'm sick of this bad thing, you know? So, um, I like it. So, yeah, things are going awesome for me right now. And my horoscope said that it would. I kid you not, I'm an Aries. Check out the horoscope for this month, this week, all that. Um, it keeps saying, like, good things will happen to you. Just be patient, that type of thing. So, um, my horoscope is going like coinciding with all these awesome things. So, uh, that's what weight loss takes. Patience, perseverance, and lots of hard work. But, um, number one, patience. One day at a time. All right, so that's my, um, that's my week. Everything's awesome. So, uh, but it does take an everyday thing. And trust me, I write, I go on MFP and I log. Um, and I write everything in my journal, except I did not write all the samples they made me take yesterday. So that won't be happening again. I'm just going to be like, oh yeah, I already did try that, you know, um, because I tried marinara, calamari, cannolis, <laughs> bad. That won't be happening all the time. Anyway, so, uh, everything's good.